Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are doing a class called a perfect cup of coffee. It's going to be exactly that with a lot of new moves, a lot of cardio, it's not a beginner class. <laughs> I gotta tell you that from the get-go, it's gonna have a lot of balancing advanced cardio uh, moves within the plank variety. So prepare to really focus and do as much as you can uh, and prepare to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the crown of the head. As you breathe, feel the central axis of the body connect. Connect with the feet, spread the toes wide open. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lift through the crown of the head. And take a moment to clear out anything that is um, stagnating in your in the back of your mind or in your mind anything negative we're actually gonna do a shamanic exercise which funny enough is a psychology technique that is lately proving to be very effective previously they thought it's it doesn't work now they think it's very effective in uh, creating dissoci disassociation disassociation in the brain with um, past trauma so we're gonna bring up something small and don't go into your big traumas, but something small that's agitating you lately. And you're gonna inhale and move your eyes to the left, either open or close. And exhale and let the event go. You can visualize something, you can visualize the event to the left and you can visualize dissipating like dust or smoke on the right however you want to do it it can be water washing it off it can be actually you imagining the resolution to the event say you lost a job or something happened here you can imagine the a, a, a solution to it or letting it go you don't care you feel happy about it something like that so here the right is the positive the left is bringing up the event now the movement of the eyes is a shamanic, shamanic technique it's um um, we did it in a workshop. It's um, uh, uh, something that's done continuously to clear out the past. But here, also in a psychological setting, they do it for more for deeper stuff. Here, we're just gonna clear out. Sorry for the longer explanation. We're gonna clear out something uh, more current and just agitating rather than a big deep drama because we're not going there today. And you're just gonna inhale to the left, bring up the event. I mean, you broke up, a, uh, broke a dish or something, whatever, something small, something just kind of more current. And exhale it to the right. So that's recapitulation. We did it in a bigger setting in uh, a workshop, but today we're gonna do it in a very gentle, small way, just to get ourselves going with the eyes and the breath. and release we're now breathing we're in the body feel the crown lifting and feel elongation throughout the spine and the entire body feel the breath saturating the cells in um, the body and the finer body so the layers of the body feel the breath in a pranic way so not just air but also being able to tune in and use prana Getting yourself centered.
creating a calm space for the class. So imagine calm when we inhale here, we just inhale the agitation and here we created a calm space, which naturally also happens just from huffing and puffing and jumping. It's profound. All right, and let's flow. Inhale, reach over the head. Lift and connect with your core. Lengthen the lower back, mid back, upper back. Press the corners of the feet, so the four edges of the feet down, corners of the feet down, lifting the arches. Exhale, dive. Breathe now into your hamstrings, just feel the hamstrings releasing. You can keep the knees bent here or straight. Shake your head, look over to the right and left, letting go of residual agitation or scatteredness or if you just feel frazzled, letting it go. So creating a calm, focused space here. You're alert, but calm, peaceful, alert. The peace is within. We don't seek it outside of us, but we seek it within and that brings it about outside eventually as we uh, steady that space. If we're able to anchor in peace within, eventually that will create peace outside of us. It may take a while the way the world is going, but we can do it. We can create peace from the inner workings of the psyche, of the, of the mind. All right, look ahead of you and plank. Spread the fingers open, fire up the shoulders, fire up the core and Step your feet a little wider than hip width apart. We're going to tap the left shoulder with the right hand and reach up in a stretchy kind of way. And drop it down, opposite side tap. And reach up with expand, stiffness and stretch. Down, and continue. Breathe. Bring the breath in. Lift. A few more, warming up. Really fire up the shoulders here. You wanna create really good alignment in plank. Usually if plank bothers you, it's the alignment. It's not so much the strength. Strength develops relatively quickly. All right, one more set right and left great and chaturanga up dog open the chest lengthen chaturanga down dog inhale the right leg up open the hip lift drop it behind Wow thing. Elongating here. Side plank. We're gonna do heel taps. One and reach up. Two. Steady. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven eight, nine, 10. Great, plank, step it through high lunge, right leg forward, high lunge, let's twist it, bring a little bit of heat in the body via the twist, immediately warmed up here just from the breath and the minimal movement. It's a cold, cold <laughs> day inside the house. I think it's kind of warm outside. And coming up 
into high lunge. We're gonna do five hops. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna exhale into plank. Chaturanga. I'm dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Ujjayi breath, take the left leg up, open. Drop the heel behind you. Wow thing, a really good stretch here. Feel the expansion, the openness, the expansiveness. So you're radiating outside, so it's an externally moving energy outward. And in Chinese medicine, there is food, so it's inward and outward direction, upward, downward. Think of mustard is upward, it goes up your nose. Spice is outward, you sweat it out. It moves towards the extremities, the, um, the skin, especially hot pepper, cayenne. So it is inward and downward. All right, side side plank and steady it nice alignment shoulder over the wrist let's do heel taps one behind us two three four five six seven eight nine ten <laughs> and step it through left leg comes up come up Let's warm up a little more. Hands over the heart, and as you go into the exhale, uh, into the twist, exhale. Empty the lungs. Use this as an opportunity to really refresh. Let's call it refresh. When we exit the odor out, we invite fresh new breath, even metaphorically speaking. And coming up, we're gonna jump. One, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna go into plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. this is an opportunity to really breathe deeply get into the breathing pattern to take plank a very good plank focus on alignment today and you're going to shift your weight into your right hand and take your left arm by your uh, hip you can hold it on your back even and here we're going to jump star jump in jump two star jumps and now right knee one two three four mountain climbers we're gonna jump to the front and hop up and repeat same same arm go back again very good alignment here let's go two star jumps one two one two three four jump to the front jump up one two 
one, two, three, four. Squat jump. And that's the last one on this side. We're starting with the other side. Jump back. One, two, one, two. Continue. Two, one, two. Take a chair and slow down the breath. Deep and you can be loud, but slower. Let's walk in squat or in chair back and forward. Inhale, reach, exhale, dive. Let's bend the left knee, take the right arm up, twist. Lengthen through the crown of the head and change. And step it back, plank, chaturanga. Inhale up, upward dog. The downward dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge. And we're gonna twist again. Heat producing. Length and through the crown of the head. And feel as if you're wringing out the muscles, the organs. I know there is a lot of yoga teachers that will tell you that twists are not detoxing, maybe even stomach vacuums are not, but that is a very materialistic viewpoint on life. The body works in very, in ways, in subtle ways, the energy moves in ways that is not always understood from a material point of view. So there's a lot happening when we move. All right, coming up. Now we're gonna <laughs> take it up a notch. So we're gonna jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ending up again on the right side, 10, and step it back, plank. Shifting the weight again onto the right hand, we're going to start jump, jump in and back. And here we're going to take the right knee and kick it across, left knee and kick it across. Do as much as you can, of course, you have to balance here and engage the core. Start jump, kick, kick, start jump.
last one. And down dog. Again, calm the breath down. Take the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Long exhalations. Twist. Again, focus on the exhalation. And pay attention how you're moving energy. And coming up, and you can extend the tailbone down. Get ready to jump, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Plank. Here you're gonna spread the fingers open on the left side. Take the right back. Start jump. Kick across. Kick across. Focus. Two. Bring your knees down into all fours. Cat cow, spread the fingers open. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, really feel the energy moving through the spine. One more. And down dog. Spread the fingers open. Don't overstretch the shoulders here and the elbows hold back if you're if you have hypermobility. Try to have more of a triangle look than a very stretched look. You want the head to be between the forearms. And let's stretch the top of the toes. Bring the right foot down, top of the toes stretching. Change. Inhale the right leg up. Warrior one. And speaking of the different ways people see healing or yoga, for example, even herbs or different modalities of healing. We, a lot of people see things very differently and it is not that it is not true, it is that it is true within their subtly different realities. So we all are ultimately in a shared reality but also there are subtle differences in the personal individual reality we occupy and create, co-create. So when someone sees, for example, that energy medicine doesn't work, it is not wrong or untrue for them. It is true, but then it could be true for someone else. So, and I've evolved in my own ways also. I, if you're used to have a 
something that bothered me, like I haven't had the flu, but like say I had something, like say I had the flu. I used to think herbs first before energy medicine. To me, this was more real, it's tangible. But we also can expand in how we, we see things. Same with yoga. We can see it just as physical exercise, physical asana, very Western um, outlook. Or after years of doing it, we can start, and it depends on the person, but we can start feeling something extra there, something beyond the just physical asana or the breath, the obvious breath. So it's tuning in and really feeling and expanding. It's a constant mastering an art form such as yoga or anything else. It's, it's traveling outward it's a, and inward. It's constant expansion, but also getting to the core of it. Here we're going to exhale down and take a one-legged plank. So now both hands are down, right leg is back. And we're gonna jump the left leg in and back plus right knee, knee tuck. And again, jump, knee tuck, jump, knee tuck, jump, knee tuck. <laughs> Last one, great, vinyasa. And let's take the left leg to the front, warrior one. Hold it, sink into the pose or <laughs> embody the pose. Integrate the pulse into your tissues or field. And just feel the pulse and <clears throat> if you have a particular challenge in warrior one which i think everybody has a particular limitation somewhere in this pose because it is a very demanding pose um, focus there and gently work your way there say it's your heel it doesn't have to be on the ground but the general direction of stretching the ankle is the purpose of the pose so how it looks is not so much of importance but really how you work in the pose, the opportunities it gives you to align, stretch, strengthen, uh, balance, maybe, maybe uh, your opportunity to work is here in the hips and pelvis, maybe in the feet, maybe in the rib cage, maybe in the gaze, maybe in the shoulders. And someone said about my previous class that it was a perfect cup of coffee. So I figured, okay, this is gonna be the title for this one because I've been planning it for a week, this class, and didn't have the opportunity to shoot it. It's perfect in the sense that we're gonna include a lot of exercises in it. And it's within the Your Perfect Body program. There's a little bit of play on words or... All right, plank. One-legged plank. This time the left leg is up and we're gonna jump the right leg in and back, knee tucked. 10 of those, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze the belly. Oh. 
last one. <laughs> and step your left foot through, come to the center of the mat, between the legs, forward fold, feet parallel to each other. Point the toes out and come up. Let's twist, one more adjustment of the spine. Twist to the other side. Come up and bring the right hand right above the temple on the left side and push the head into the hand, resist with the hand. Opposite side. You can glide the skin a little up, a little bit of a eyebrow lift. And plank. Here we're gonna jump to the front. Squat jump, spin jump, long jump. <coughs> Push up, squat jump. Spin jump, long jump, push up. And you can reverse the spin uh, jump direction. Get to the front and hold yogic squat. Let's stretch on one side, open here, opposite side. Feel the elongation. And sit down. We're going to bring the hands behind us. Step your feet hip width apart, tabletop. And we're gonna jump in, out, and in. One, keep the booty high. Three, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sit down, forward fold. And let's twist one more time. Hands behind you, forehead to the ground, heels down on the ground. Change. And lay down. I see that it's time for the conclusion of this class. I want it to be short. So supine twist. There is always a varying combination of stretches I like to bring to the end of the class. And generally I don't cover everything in every class, of course, but Try to cover everything in the combination of classes. Plow.
to shoulder stand. And lower down, finishing exercise will be here you're going to keep your upper body fired up because we're gonna do a bridge to an immediate crunch bridge as one move crunch bridge crunch so everything is really fired up the core and the body see four five six seven eight nine and ten all right lay down in shavasana and imagine perfect energy running through your body perfect flow how that will feel if there is no stagnation no areas that are less than optimal with less light there less openness however you want to say it however you feel it but everything feels spacious and free and free flowing and shimmery <laughs> and just stay in this space of perfect energy flow perfection within your energy field within your circuits circuitry whether you imagine your physical body and neurons and circulation or if you just imagine the energy flow in the body whatever works for you it really it's up to you how you visualize perfect energy flow but i'm inviting you to imagine that and really feel that in your body experience it feel what it is for your flow, for your energy to be perfect. No stagnation, no areas that feel funky. Everything is open and flowing and vibrant and balanced. It's not just high energy, but it is exactly the needed energy with a pattern or routine of high energy and calm energy so it's regulated and stay here feel that experience it feel what it is for your energy and your flow to be perfect the flow of energy and remember to flow with strength and ease namaste